Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Today I am going to explain about a component which most of the technicians ignore. That is switch. Switch is nothing but a MOSFET, internal MOSFET. See, it's always connected to, what is that? It will connect drain to source. The source always, it will be connected to ground. What is the purpose of this switch? See, for example, I will tell you, here is the main MOSFET. Here is the switch MOSFET. Entirely different these two are, okay? Both are not equal. Okay, anyway, in case if this switch is not there, it is in open condition, here voltage will come and this transistor will be in on position. If it is on, then it will connect collector to emitter, right? Then there will be no voltage here. Then what will happen? This PNP MOSFET will be in active position. If it is active, then what it will do? It will connect emitter to collector. Then what will happen? Here is the gate, right? Here also a gate. Both gate are connected to each other. Then obviously the 19.5 volts will enter to gate also. Then your charging IC will show the error. Because of that error, your motherboard won't turn on, right? So these are the concepts are there. Today I am going to explain you pin to pin how the gate voltage will applicable to this and what are the threshold voltage of this particular MOSFET or particular switch. If anyone wants to join our PLC just for 7.99 rupees then you can enter YouTube and type Pavitra Laptop Care open any one of the video of mine and here you are able to see the join option just click on this and what you will get one more window you will get and just you can check here there are two schemes one is schematic reading it's a 299 other one is complete chip level repair for 799 per month for better understanding i will take this circuit i will take this resistor and this switching mosfet and i will give the supply for this and here what is that gate gate source and here main source both i will give and i will explain you what will be the threshold voltage for this pin to pin i will explain in next section here is the circuit see it's very simple here is the mosfet switching mosfet when it will switch when gate voltage will come then it will connect this drain to source right that's very simple at present it's a zero volts so there's a reason 19 volts will be available here see this particular 19 volts across this register will come right so after that maybe uh, 0.5 or 1 volts maybe drop according to the Ohm's law okay now what I did here I connected the multimeter to this see here it has gone to here after this register and the same thing is connected to channel number A of this oscilloscope means DRDSO other one the other channel channel B is connected to the source so what will be the action when the gate voltage will come and what will be the action here and here so this th uh, these two things I will show in oscilloscope as well as multimeter DSO and multimeter okay now see if there is a zero volts at gate of this particular switching MOSFET. So before that, first I will tell you what this component and for what purpose this has been used. See, this MOSFET name is many uh, brand, many companies are uh, manufacturing this one. See, it's a diodes is uh, incorporated its company name and the 2N7002 is a code, it's a DW, dual N channel enhanced mo uh, enhancement mode field effect transistor. Okay, this is total six legs here, one, two, three. See, source gate and here drain two. It's a second. Here, it's a first MOSFET source, first MOSFET gate and here first MOSFET drain this side. And here second MOSFET drain and source and gate here. Okay, dual internal MOSFET. And the main thing is what I'm going to do is to test this one for switching speed fast in the sense what voltage at what voltage it will switch and what will be the threshold that one 
that experiment i am going to do now 2n7002 ps both are same here it's a 60 volts 320 milliamps n channel trench mosfet okay uh, for what purpose it has been used see logic level compatible features and benefits very fast switching trench mosfet technology hmm, this one qualified applications relay driver high speed line driver low side load switch switching circuits so here it's a switching circuits so that one i am going to explain you it's a zero gate will be open and in this condition here is the channel b and here is the channel a in dso what will be the result just to check see started now here is the voltage what is that red red color one b hmm? here is the b channel 19.5 volts and here a channel a channel is 19.473 See here in the multimeter 19.473. Here a resistor is there, no 200k. That's why some of the voltage will get dropped. Okay, now what I am going to do? Now I'll increase the voltage to 0.5 volts. Then what will be the result? Now this switching MOSFET gate is 0.5 volts. Then what will be the result? So let us check. Same. thing now changes here channel a is 19.473 any changes no changes now i will increase to 1 volts see now it's a gate voltage is 1 volts now what will happen see the dso till now there is no change see it means if gate voltage is 1 volts then also it won't activate it. so it will be in off condition only still 1 volts because here it is a 19 volts and what will be the gate voltage threshold voltage that we will check one by one now i'll increase 0.1 volts 1.1 volts see now it's a 1.1 volts now what will be the result 19.473 so here still it is in open condition so now what i'll do is 1.5 i'll increase to 1.5 what are the changes we will get now i increase to 1.5 volts now what will be the result see 19.342 till now what was the voltage 19.7 right so here is the same thing there is no changes in source it's a channel b but here 19.7 was there now it's 19.342 okay now uh, step by step i will increase the voltage so what will be the result in channel a so it has to be zero completely zero then that particular switch will applicable okay till that time what will be the threshold we will check one by one now it's a 1.5 i'll increase 1 volts i mean 0.1 volts see now 1.6 volts what is the result see 18.825 see lot of the difference occurred just for 0.1 volts 100 milli volts okay now again one more 100 milli volts i will give i will increase then what will be the result now what the voltage 18.825 see now 1.7 volts is there here it's 18.825 was before now what will be the voltage how oh, 16.488 it's little bit slowly reducing see here those two channels are different right here and here channel a is 16.48 and channel b is 19.5 now i will increase one more 100 milli volts then what will be the result see now it's 1.8 volts next oh it's 8.423 see here 50% reduced here see 16 was there now it's 8.42 now i'll do one thing so just uh, 50 milli volts i'll increase and let us check the result what will be there see now it's 1.85 oh it's completely milli volts it reduced from 8 volts to milli volts it means it means it's not completely off so it one particular point it got complete threshold voltage we got threshold voltage here see what is that voltage it's 1.85 but still leak voltage is here it should be zero hmm? now i'll do one thing 1.86 i'll give and let us check again this milli volts will go or not yes 43 milli volts now again 0.1 i will increase point 0.1 i will increase and let us check 32 and again i will increase it should be 0 okay or below that now it's 1.89 so result 
it's a 20 milli volts now i have given 1.9 volts to gate yes no it's again it's a 16 milli volts so again it should be zero right so again we need to increase the voltage now it's two volts let us check oh it reduced from 16 milli volts to 3 milli volts again it's a 2.05 i'll give and i'll check See, now it's a 2.05 so let us check the result it's one milli volts then 2.1 i'll give yes it has gone see here channel b channel b is this one v1 is 19.5 volts and across this register here is the zero volts because of this 2.1 volts here is 2.1 volts is the threshold voltage okay now you got my point right so in any uh, schematics if your resistance is 200 kilo ohms then the threshold voltage will be 2.1 in case the resistance will be 10 k or some other a little bit reduced then approximate 2.5 volts will be there hmm? maximum that one actually 2.2 2.3 only is the maximum so what i'm going to tell is if there is a below 2.2 volts then care must be taken because your minimum more than 2.5 volts should be there the gate voltage then only this complete switch function will work okay that is my logic so that i showed which i wanted to show you so it's very simple logic right hmm? using this you can easily understand uh, using this oscilloscope and all so many more tricks you are able to see in our paid channel so if you really want to learn you can go to youtube and join my membership Otherwise, if you want full support, so you can directly join to our PLC. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.